So we have more signs pointing to the next new legend coming to Apex Legends and even more leaks and rumors that give us some more insight on the future of Apex and maybe even the abilities that this new legend will have and the next weapon coming to Apex. So stay tuned. But let's kick things off with probably the reason you clicked on the video. The new legend Artemis does seem to be the next legend that's coming to the game. Now the codename Artemis was leaked a pretty long time ago, but in the game files now, Artemis is being referenced and it seems like they're completely her model and maybe even some skins for the new legend as there is an RPAC file called Root Legend Skins Artemis Classic. So this is even more confirmation that the next new legend they're working on is in fact called Artemis. Obviously this is probably the code name. Their actual name is probably still to be revealed. Now Artemis is of course the goddess of the hunt and the wilderness. She has a strong relation to wild animals and nature and a strong care for children and others. Now as for her abilities, there's another file called P PTPOV Artemis targeting that's in the game files for Apex as well. So in her current state, we can probably believe that one of her tactical or ultimate abilities probably has targeting capabilities. Now this could be a whole bunch of things. She could have some form of crossbow or bow and arrow that actually allows her to lock on or target nearby enemies. She could have a wild animal as a pet or a friend that can go out and seek enemies and target them. We could speculate to the moon and back about what this could mean, but I don't see much point in doing that. But at least we know in the current state, she does have some targeting capabilities. Of course, this is all subject to change because most likely Artemis will release in season 23 or maybe even later. Next season, which is season 22, we should be getting the new district map, which we've already seen a bunch of. But on the topic of the new district map, we did also get some extra information about a new vehicle that will be on this map. So the district map will have tridents, but instead it's going to be a new variant of trident that can hold four people instead of three. Not really much of a big difference, just a trident that can hold four players. But the reason they're probably doing this is because it seems they are going to introduce quads into Apex Legends. Now it probably won't be a permanent mode, just like we have solos right now. There are a lot of sources saying that quads is coming to Apex, and if that's the case, then a four-seater trident really does make a lot of sense for that game mode. So we'll probably see quads on the new map in Season 22, and potentially the lifeline rework so that would leave season 23 for the new legend. It could be even later than that, but if they're releasing a new legend every other season, it would make sense for us to get Artemis in season 23. And based on some other rumors from inside sources and potential leaks, there is a legend being developed that acts like an AoE healing ability, and maybe this could be Artemis's tactical. Maybe Artemis could act as a mini support and heal your teammates that are nearby you with the press of the tactical. I still think that sounds pretty strong for a tactical, especially given that we already have conduit in the game, who is really strong because of the fact that she can heal your teammates from range. So take that rumor with a pinch of salt, but I think a healing ability would actually go well with someone codenamed Artemis, but we'll have to wait for that. Now I did mention that we have the lifeline rework on the way, which I'm hoping we do get next season. And thanks to Crowrindo, we do know the abilities that lifeline will have, such as her passive ability, which will let her hold onto her drone while midair and glide for a short period of time. Now this is what that could look like. I just modded it into R5 Reloaded. And it looks pretty fun. Crowrindo described it similar to the Elytra from Minecraft, so maybe you can go even faster and further with this, but it's going to be funny to see Lifeline with movement abilities. And not only Lifeline, but also other support legends will get a brand new passive because it seems they're messing around with the support perks and adding a brand new support perk, which will apparently allow you to turn healing items into grenades that you can throw to heal your teammate. So essentially, you can just throw a med kit at your teammate from range and it will do a small splash healing, I suppose. It's like if every support had Conduit's tactical, but it worked for all healing items. Now, my guess is that if this does make it into the game in Season 22, then the healing will probably be over a short period of time rather than instantly healing because it sounds pretty OP if it will just instantly heal because it's just a faster way of popping a healing item. But since Crowrindo only shared this support perk upgrade, there's every chance that that Apex are actually working on upgrading all the other legend perks in season 22 as a nice little health update or overhaul season because it seems like we are getting 
the new maps, some new weapon changes, the lifeline rework. It has all the elements of a season that will be a nice health update. So we could see some brand new assault perks, skirmisher perks, recon perks, and controller perks, as well as this support perk. But back to lifeline and her other abilities. She should also have a tactical drone that can follow your teammates and the shock bot ultimate that will push enemies away and create a barrier that you can't enter through, but you can still shoot through. I think it's going to be interesting to see that lifeline rework. We've already talked a lot about that. So let's talk about some more new information. You know how we should be getting dual wield P2020s next season, where you can pick up two P2020s in one inventory slot, which will allow the ability to dual wield them. Well, we know a bit more about this. Now, what should happen when you dual wield P2020s? You can no longer put attachments on them and the weapon gets slightly nerfed so it's not OP. So you do a little bit less damage or you shoot a little bit slower while dual wielding. And the new Fnatic energy pistols that we were supposed to be getting may actually potentially come as a hop up instead of a new weapon. So instead of getting a brand new energy pistol, it's likely that we're actually going to be getting a new hop up which converts the P2020 into an energy pistol which you can charge up to do more damage or you can still shoot in rapid succession as we've seen in the gameplay of the Fnatic pistols. And this will make sense to come in season 22 at the same time as dual wield because we did see in the gameplay of the Fnatic pistols you could also dual wield them. So we're likely getting a pretty awesome P2020 overhaul to make them a little bit more viable, give you the option to dual wield them and even give you the option to use a hop up to turn them into a brand new energy pistol. I think that's a pretty cool idea and speaking of new weapons there might be a brand new shotgun being developed which you can use at longer ranges. Now that just sounds insane and I don't think Apex needs a new shotgun because I feel like we have everything covered as far as shotguns go. The Eva 8 is a automatic shotgun which shoots super fast and has a wide spread. We have the Mastiff which is super unique with its blast pattern. We have the Mozambique which is the weaker shotgun in a pistol form that also can be used at mid to long range. And then we have the Peacekeeper, which is really good up close, but also really good at long range as well with its built-in choke. So I don't know why they'd be developing a new shotgun that's good at long ranges. Kind of defeats the point of a shotgun, and I feel like that won't fit into Apex. But circling back to the new legend, Artemis, I actually thought that Artemis would be released with the Scorpion C80 crossbow as a new weapon. Now this is a very old leaks weapon that took arrows as its ammo type, and it was an automatic crossbow, which you could also switch for fire into an explosive arrow where you consume the entire mag but you'd create an explosive dart so that you could shoot. But it turns out that this weapon along with the Maelstrom LMG that was also leaked have apparently been scrapped. So these will no longer be coming to the game and maybe the Scorpion was scrapped because it's now being built in to Artemis's kit. There's always the chance that Artemis does have an ultimate weapon similar to how Vantage does where she gets a crossbow that she can use and it's charged up just like an ult. I think that would be pretty awesome implementing an explosive crossbow that we saw with the Scorpion C80 into the new Legends ability. And I think that's where I'll leave you guys for the info for today. I'm excited as always to see the new Legend, but we won't be seeing Artemis until later this year. So now all we can really do is wait. But I hope you're excited for Season 22 with the recent info we have regarding the new pistols and the lifeline rework. So let me know what you're most excited for in the future of Apex and let me know what abilities you think Artemis will have.